Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to be talking about ways that you can break free from the nine to five grind. Everyone goes through this, the rat race, uh, as some call it, but we're just going to go back and forth giving ideas on, or not ideas, but the, the method to actually become financially independent, financially free from everything, including your job. But I'll let you start this one off, Kirby. Um. Uh, one caveat to put out there is I'm not going to say anything that I believe. I'm just going to talk about the things or we're going to talk about the things that we've actually done. I don't believe in the method of creating your own blueprint. I believe in following somebody else's blueprint. Maybe you don't get to the level they're at, but if you get halfway there, you're still, you know, a hundred times better than where you're at or where you're starting off at. So everything that we talk about, it will be things that we have done to make it happen. So you can take it, run with it, get a notepad, write it down, uh, save this video, like, subscribe, and you can always come back to the video. But this is things that we actually done. Um, for me, the first thing is, and it's a hard concept for people to understand, and I don't care whose blueprint you listen to. I don't care if it's Warren Buffett, I don't care, care if it's Peter Thiel, uh, the late, great Charlie Munger, Grant Cardone, Robert Kiyosaki, Dave Ramsey. The thing you have to do is find a way to live on less than you make. And we had a comment in the comment section. A guy said, well, if somebody's living check to check, how can they save money for an emergency fund? Or how can they save money to do this? The thing is, the reason why people live check to check, and it don't matter if you make $10,000 a year or $100,000 a year or $500,000 a year. I know people in all those income ranges that still live check to check. The key of it is, is their whole life is not based on, or their whole expenditures is not based on paying for necessities. It's a lot of fluff in there. It's a lot of wants in there. So, when people say live on less than you make, that's what they're really saying is take care of what you need and then let go of the things that you want. But that's the number one step before you can even start talking about bringing in passive income or bringing in extra money or starting a side hustle. You still need capital to do all those things. So to get capital to do all those things, you have to eliminate the wants in your life and have an extra cushion to have money to start doing things to to get money on the passive income side. Alex, what you got? The method is the method is simple. It's you know live on less than you make. It's delaying that gratification of wanting to buy stuff. As Kevin O'Leary said it best, it was like you know you have to find the way to uh, not buy bullshit you don't need, and then use that money that you would have spent on that stuff and invest it. You know, because investing is going to be the key to actually bring you that income that you need that separates you from the job that you hate to work at. And the only way that you can do that is by delaying that gratification of buying stuff that you don't need, focusing on just your necessities and your future goal of leaving that job and, you know, channeling all that income to investing and living on less than you make because as soon as you increase your lifestyle you're going to be trapped at that nine to five and we see it all the time like you said people that are making five hundred thousand dollars a year and you know they live paycheck to paycheck because they've brought their lifestyle to that point you know yeah you can live paycheck to paycheck on any income but the key is to live below what you're actually making and you have to delay that gratification of wanting that kind of you know millionaire lifestyle because there's a bigger goal at hand it's becoming financially independent and free from you know that job that you hate to be at all all the time right and then the the second part of it is you see on this channel and you see on other channels we talk about different ways to make passive income and do we do all of them now yes but the key is you don't need to do all of them to break free from the nine to five grind. You just need to find one that you want to be very, very proficient at and just keep repeating it over and over and over again. I'll give you an example. 
you don't need to be invested in uh, dividend stocks, invested in real estate, invested in buying businesses, invested in um, some arbitrage or some drop shipping and all that. Just find one and be very proficient at it. So dividend stocks, if you say, hey, I'm just, I don't want to, you know, bring any more labor into my life. I don't want to, you know, drain my brain trying to figure out all the nuances and all this. I just want to be able to put cash somewhere. It'll give me a, a monthly drip, weekly drip, whatever. Drip mean just giving you uh, income. Then that's the thing that you focus on. So dividend stocks is, I will be focused on dividend stocks. I wouldn't be focused on growth stocks. I wouldn't be focused on anything else. I will be focused on dividend kings and aristocrats. You can easily Google those two, uh, those two list of dividend companies. Dividend King is a dividend company that's been paying dividends and increasing their dividends for over 50 years. Dividend aristocrat is a company that has been paying dividends and increasing their dividends over a 25 year straight period. And then, so you find, I mean, my goal would be find four dividend stocks, kings or aristocrats, it don't matter. And then leg it so that it's paying you a dividend every month. So you get, you get four of those, they're paying dividends at different amount of times, and then it will pay you a dividend every month. And then only thing I would do from there, and this is one thing that I do, is I would live on less than I make, I would use that income that I was saving and not blowing on in the streets and I would just keep investing in those those companies first I'll start off with one company and say hey I'm gonna get five thousand dollars in there then I'll add the next company put five thousand dollars there get the next company put five thousand dollars there get the next company put five thousand dollars there over time of course and then I would just keep rinsing repeating those four stocks over and over again over and over again eventually if you you know you do this for a long period of time the income that will be coming in the drip uh, will surpass the income that you make. Now, let's, I'm going to give you an example. The CEO of Coca-Cola. The CEO of Coca-Cola makes between 25 to $30 million a year. Maybe a little bit more. And that's him working every day. Warren Buffett, who bought shares in Coca-Cola years before the CEO was ever working, Warren Buffett makes almost a half billion dollars a year just on dividend payments. And he's not working at all. Put his money in there and just let the dividends keep compounding. Coca-Cola is a dividend king where they raise the dividends every every year. So with them raising the dividends every year, he reinvesting back into the dividends, back into buying stocks. And then you getting a bigger stock. So your paycheck is getting higher every month, every month. I mean, every three months, every three months. And then now look where it's compounded to. So you don't have to go everything. You don't have to spread thin and do it all. Just find one thing you want to be proficient in. And you hammer it home and it'll get you there. Just one. With all that being said, guys, if you like this video, hit the like button. Uh, leave us a comment down below. Share this video. Subscribe. And we will see you guys on the next one.